know what that smells like? That smells like match days being back. Welcome back to Black and White Bantnet, Newcastle fans. If you are new to Black and White Bantnet, please go on, drop down, give us one of them little likes. If you like this video, stick around and hit that subscribe and get us across all social media. There's a Christmas song dropping in the next couple of days and you do not want to miss it. So I'm here in Newcastle, just about to head up St James's Park. It's a friendly today, but we're not going to treat it like a friendly because football is finally back after that long spell away because of the World Cup. And I, generally, as a rule, I don't normally go to friendly games. I have to stay clear of them. I'm not a huge fan of the atmosphere of friendly matches, but because it's been so long, I couldn't resist. I'm excited to get in that stadium again and just see see what's happening, see what, whether the lads are playing with that same intensity that we saw in that first friendly in Saudi Arabia. So let's get in St James's Park, see what's happening. See what the teams are, more importantly, because that's going to be a big factor in a friendly match. And the opposition today is not, not bad at all. Eighth in La Liga, they've beat Real Madrid, they've got a nil-nil draw at the new Camp, they are no mugs at all. So the opposition for this one's pretty decent. So let's get over there and see what's happening. How are the lads? Teams are out and he's gone very, very strong, which is absolutely amazing to see. Because like I say, with a friendly game, the interest isn't always great. So to see that the teams a full pelt, even Trippy is in after the World Cup, I know he didn't play very much, Pope's in, um, Chris Wood up top, so obviously Callum Wilson's been given a little bit of extra time off, but generally speaking we are as strong as possible, so that's only going to make a better game today, and that's telling me that Eddie Howe is taking this very seriously as a let's get ready for the competitive stuff sort of exercise, not just a kickabout, so that's only going to make a better match, say Maximin, good chance for him to impress because he hasn't been great more recently since he's come back from injury, and yeah, that's only got me more excited. Haven't looked at the the away team yet. Hopefully Lejeune is then, because I was always a fan of him, and it would be nice to give him a, just a really good reception. I would have loved to see him play under Howe, but yeah, full strength and a full bench of kids as well from the under-21, so hopefully some of them, after impressing in Saudi Arabia, will do the same. Let's get in St James's Park now and see what they can offer. How are the lad? Very big honourable mention to those Rio Velocano fans up there. Not many of them, but they look like they're having a great time. And I tell you what, that looks a much better atmosphere up there than what I'm currently sitting in. Full time, 2-1 to Newcastle. I'm just about to jump on the Metro home. <sighs> we didn't. I didn't really feel like I learnt too much from that game today. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of friendlies, as I said at the start of this. I'm still not a big fan of friendlies in St James's Park. The atmosphere was flat as a fart, which I kind of knew coming in because there's a lot of families. There's nothing really to play for in the match itself and the stadium's not totally full. But I don't think I'll be doing a one again for a long time. I think I'll stick... Uh, my, my fixtures, I'll keep going to the fixtures, the, the competitive ones, not the friendlies. Um, I thought there was a couple of positive performances today. I think we played against a good opposition and we were the better team. I think first half we totally controlled it. Longstaff's goal, by the way, if you haven't watched the highlight, is a decent strike. That's one worth watching. I thought Jacob Murphy today was really, really good. Um, we've been very critical of him. I know he's come... Eddie Howe seems to like him, seems to like his work rate, quality... Not isn't always great, but he's come on a little bit in the last month or so, obviously pre-World Cup. And I think he was bright today. He was trying to make things happen. <sighs> Longstaff was good. I think he's obviously staying in Eddie's house plans. I think he'll start at Leicester in the league unboxing. Obviously the Bournemouth Cup game we're not sure of yet. Botman just looked like Botman, controlling things at the back. Trippier was classic Trippier, so there was a lot of performances in there that I thought were just as you'd expect. The one player I was a bit disappointed with today, and I probably sound like his biggest critic, yeah, sorry, my nose is um, on the drip, was St. Maximin. I thought 
Eddie Howe is not giving him much game time at the moment, so these kind of matches, including the game in Saudi Arabia as well, are the kind of games where he can kind of knock on the door, and I just don't think he's doing it, and I will be very, very surprised if St Maximin starts. Maybe the Bournemouth game he might play, but I don't think he's, Eddie Howe's going to go with him at Leicester on Boxing Day. I don't. And I thought he was disappointing today. I think he's decision-making. He lost the ball quite a lot. And it is only a friendly. And I'm not going in too hard on that fact. But he's disappointed me again. And I'm hoping that he might make things happen. Because we were on top for most of that. And I just thought he was just a little bit flat. And I think Eddie Howe is still not fully convinced. That is my opinion. I don't think he's a huge St. Maximum fan, despite what he says in his press conferences. So that, that was my main letdown of the day. Um, Chris Wood obviously got on the score sheet with his penalty, smashed it in the corner. Uh, Harry Kane could have taken a lesson from that one with his missed one in the World Cup. So that was nice to see Chris Wood get on the score sheet because I don't think he's going to get much game time in the coming weeks if Wilson and Isaac sort of come back as well. It was a good run out. It was a fitness exercise. We know that's what these games are about. On to Bournemouth on Tuesday. I think Eddie Howe should take that game very seriously. I'm all about these cups being taken with full seriousness. And I think the fact Eddie Howe's played a full-strength team today tells me he wants them boys ready because he's going to play full-strength against Bournemouth on Tuesday. But yeah, we got to win. Own goal from my target. You can't do much about it. It was at the opposite end for me. I couldn't see too much of it. He got in the way. It pinged in. You know, you move on. There's nothing riding on this match. Happy to see us get another win, which is only going to be good for the lads. And on to the serious stuff, Bournemouth on Tuesday night. Thank you very much for watching, Newcastle fans. If you've liked this video and you've stuck around this long, whack that subscribe. There'll be much more videos to come. I've got a ticket for Leicester. I'm going down to Arsenal. Sheffield Wednesday. So many fixtures on the horizon. So whack that subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. The serious stuff begins now. Away the lads. <laughs>